admitted member of a neo-Nazi group who then claimed to have joined Islam admitted guilt today in a double murder in Tampa Palms that gained national attention. Devin Arthurs now admits that he murdered his two roommates in their Tampa Palms apartment following an argument. He also admits he then went across the street and held three people hostage. Jeff Patterson joins us now. He is live at the courthouse with the very latest. Another surprise, I guess, plea. Good evening, Stacey. Well, jury selection was scheduled to begin this morning in that double murder trial and kidnapping case of Devin Arthurs. Instead, he entered a plea of guilty. It's a case that gained national attention involving an admitted neo-Nazi who had been a member of a fringe group called the Adam Waffen Division. Tampa police arrested Devin Arthurs for murdering his two roommates in 2017, 22-year-old Jeremy Hemmelman and 18-year-old Andrew Onischuk. I have been advised that Mr. Arthurs is re has reached a plea agreement with the state of Florida. Today, after six years, yes, Arthurs entered a plea of guilty just before his trial was set to begin. How do you wish to plead to these five charges? I plead guilty. Arthurs claimed Himmelman and Onischuk were neo-Nazis who planned to blow up a nuclear power plant. At one time, Arthurs claimed he killed his roommates to prevent mass murder. Today, he told the court he was on medication, had mental health issues, and had been brainwashed into extremist groups. I'm very sorry for everyone that's involved. I'm very sorry for everything that has happened. Arthurs telling the court he will now speak out against extremists. I feel that I can be an advocate against extremism, and I'd like to take this moment to tell the world to stay away from extremist groups and tell that I want to try to dedicate my life to getting people away from militant movements. As a result of his guilty plea to second-degree murder in the two cases and kidnapping in three others, Devin Arthurs was sentenced to 45 years in prison, and under Florida law, he must serve at least 85% of that, meaning he will finally be released from prison or could be released from prison when he's in his early 60s for a crime he committed when he was 18. Live in Tampa, Jeff Patterson, 8 on your side.